Allegro here in Milan, home to two of Italy's grandest clubs, AC Milan and Internazionale. The teams then, Mali against South Africa. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Shapes the shoots! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, he was right in front of goal and he probably should have scored, to be fair. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. With a delicate ball. Defence has got rid of that. Tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. All the way back and they start again. Tulani Serrero. And it's Serrero. Passes it through. Serrero. A oh, glorious footwork. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Over a labyrinth, Peter. An exercise in just passing time while not getting very far. Gone out for a throw in. <laughs> Tries a through ball. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks like a good ball through. Great build-up, it all deserved a better ending. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. Uh, poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. One option. Now here's the through ball. Oh, good ball. Boots it upfield. Hoists it high. Now here's the through ball. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Approaching. That could be a big one. <laughs> Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Balls out once more. Mm. 
gets it back. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Mali are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Tulani Serrero goes hurtling down that left-hand side. And back out it comes. It's a loose ball. Goes long and forward. And the through ball is intercepted. Now the pass. They've managed to get it away. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Just about up to 75 minutes. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. It's going to be another throw. The defence can get it clear. Walk forward. What does he try from here? And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Mali need to hold on for a few more moments. Looks to slip it through. That intervention was very necessary. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. 